Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to some more LEGO Harry Potter years 1 through 4. This one is going to be for the building blocks achievement slash trophy, uh, which will uh, require us to complete all four of the builder levels, which can be found in Gringotts Vault. Now, um, this kind of goes hand in hand with the Gringotts, Gringotts Vault bonus levels, which is the last video we made for this game. And um, it is important to note that in order to access these Gringotts Vault levels, you will need to have a, um, I think it's only one, um, you need to have at least one of the Gringotts Vault bonus levels completed before you can do these builder levels, but we've just gone ahead and get, gone ahead and got all of the Gringotts Vault levels completed, that was the last video, it was almost 30 minutes, but, um, now we're gonna tackle these builder levels, which there are only four of, and, um, here we go, we're getting it started in here. Now, before I dive into all this, uh, I do just want to give a little shout out to uh, It's Your Boy Fishy for leaving a comment uh, on one of my uh, last videos. So thank you um, for that. And if you want to get shouted out, do feel free to leave a comment down below. But uh, anyways, um, so basically these are in the Gringotts Vault and you just step up to one of the little green plates and you hit, uh, you pick it up and you press um, start. I think it was play builder level one of four and um in here there are going to be five balloons we have to approach all of them and actually um remove them by pressing x next to them and um deleting them now there was one floating up on the kind of high left side and what you're going to do is you actually got to aim that little reticle um and you can do it that way rather than actually flying up to it like i did um and then with that one on the kind of high ledge up on the back right side you can actually just infinitely jump up as much as you want so just jump all the way up there and hit that one then what we're going to do is we've actually got to drop down below and we're going to press copy um with that tree and we're going to place a bunch of them around this area now what we actually need to do is we need to basically we need to place trees around so that we can actually test out the level and we need to be able to break enough trees to get 2,000 studs when we go back and test this level now um the unfortunate thing is these trees only give us i think 100 studs per tree um, and you might not be able to collect all of those because sometimes the hundred studs will be in the form of silver studs, which there's just 10 of them and they go flying around. So we just copy a bunch of them now. I do have a lot of this sped up because, I mean, you don't need to see us um, planting like 25 different trees. But anyways, then what we're going to do is we hold the, I think it's the Y button that you hold, or I think triangle it would be if you're on PlayStation. Um, I'm not sure about other consoles, but um, anyways, um, what we got to do is here, we're just going to... Um, Go ahead and test the level, and we're just going to take out these trees, collecting the studs that drop from them. Unfortunately, our stud magnet does not work here. But um, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep taking out the trees until we get 2,000 studs. You can see we're getting closer, uh, and we don't have many trees left to take out. And I just take out a bunch of them, and then we get over the 2,000 stud mark, and then we make our way to the back. We can head through the store, and that is the first tutorial complete. Now, that was a little bit of a lengthy one, but the other three are very short and simple. But I um, also just want to mention, we do have a video link in the description to kind of fast forward between uh, different builder levels um, if you want. But um, uh, Or if you kind of just need help with a specific one. But for the second one, um, what we've got to do is we've got to raise the ground. Uh, you'll notice we're flying on a griffin here. Um, and we've got to basically lower the ground and raise the ground um, so that the cats are above the water and the fish the fishes or the fish they're in the water that's what you got to try to do it but this one was the most tricky one right here in the middle there's a cat and a fish right next to each other so keep doing it until the cat is um under or above the water and the fish is underwater so that one's tricky but the other ones are kind of separate on their own so um i think it what well, it must be b to raise the land for the cats and x to lower the ground for the fish so um yeah and uh, i think that's B is circle on the PlayStation, and X is square, maybe? I actually don't know. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't own a PlayStation, so I couldn't tell you. But, um, yeah, um, maybe I'll have to get more familiar with uh, PlayStation controls. But, uh, anyways, now we're going to go ahead and tackle the third builder level, um, which, uh, oh, yeah, this one requires us to, to place a couple vehicles around the place. So, what we'll notice is there are kind of four corners to this um, area and we've got to place oh in each corner there's a little pressure switch and uh, what we can do is we can actually open our menu and we can actually place in vehicles and these vehicles will be able to when we test the level we'll be able to drive them and um, actually um, drive um, over the pressure switches which will activate them and that will complete the level so in each little quadrant place a different vehicle I mean you can place the same vehicle in all of them if you want but you just have to have four vehicles out um, so you can run over the the pressure switches so there's a couple different vehicles here um like a tractor here um i think there was the weasley car as well 
um, just some other kind of generic vehicles as well. Um, this one here, the road doesn't really have any bearing, it doesn't really affect anything. Um, but once you've placed four different vehicles around in the different quadrants, um, just go ahead and test out the level. And you'll notice in the back there, that tractor went flying, so we'll deal with that here in a second. But We'll drive over this first pressure switch, and then we're going to make our way here to where the tractor is, and it just got dumped in the water here. But uh, fortunately enough, the tractor is able to drive up through the water, and we'll hit that one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our way over here to this little quadrant. So yeah, all you're doing is you're literally going to all the vehicles that you placed, hopping in them, and driving over the pressure switches, and that will complete the um, this builder level. So that will just leave one more. So um, yeah, definitely appreciating only four um, levels here rather than 10 all levels which was just crazy but um anyways once we make our way out there we have only one left so we'll make our way in here um pick that little block up and become a builder part four of four and this one um is actually quite simple um basically um once we load in here probably could have edited out this little loading screen anyways once we get in here um we can actually open up our menu and we can select road base plates and there are two different kinds there's a straight one and a curved one so we're going to place a straight one there uh, and then here is going to be another straight one so we'll just place that down and it's important to note that um you do have to place them so that it kind of finishes the red now you'll notice here i place this one down and then obviously that's not correct so then I'm able to actually rotate it, but I can't rotate this one in the correct way. So, um, basically, it, it only allows you to rotate it um, one way. Like, I couldn't rotate it all the way around um, to get it to the um, right angle. But then what I do is I actually just step to the right-hand side facing it, and then that just places it in perfectly. And then this one here, another curve. So, what we're going to do, pull out the base plates, select the curve one, and this one goes in just like a treat if you're facing to the left and then now what we're going to do is um that'll actually take us and do testing the level and you can follow the road along or you can literally just drive straight to the back right hand side um activate the pressure switch with the car and there you go the building blocks achievement quick 30 gamer score very very nice so um a little bit more time consuming than some of the other miscellaneous uh, achievement slash trophies, but uh, still good to get it checked off. Ben. And, um, you know, achievement slash trophies are going to take up majority of the rest of the series. In fact, there's only going to be one non-achievement video left in this series. Um, well, kind of the main part of the series. I'll probably do a kind of final wrap-up video for this, purchasing some characters and stuff. But a, f a vast majority of the rest of these videos are going to be um, the... Uh, clean up achievement slash trophies. In fact, there are 10 of those that I've got to get through. So those will come out. I mean, they're going to be, again, just short, like two or so minute videos. So that'll be nice. Although I think some of them are a little bit lengthy. But anyways, folks, that is going to go ahead and do it for the building blocks achievement slash trophy. If this one was helpful, I like would certainly be appreciated. Also do feel free to subscribe, comment. And again, if you comment um, something nice, you might just get shouted out. But yeah, folks, until the next one, I'll see you all later. So everybody, bye.